In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite defenses for trips tied in in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you are looking to improve as a Madden player, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's completely free for you to subscribe. And research has shown me that over 60% of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed to my channel yet so if you would do me a favor and go ahead and hit subscribe it just basically means that you're going to support the channel and it also means that you're going to know whenever we release a new video so i'd love for you to subscribe and so that way you can get involved with all of the content that we release uh, here on youtube Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about a trips tight end defense. It's really for trips and bunch tight and bunch, really, with kind of the meta um, and, and really more of a meta style approach. Now, I don't have the full trips tight end booted up, but I do have, um, I actually do have it. Let me flip, let me flip sides here. And we'll talk about that. But real quick, before we do uh, dive into that, I do want to highlight something for you, and that is my text message membership. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions about the text message membership, like what is it, uh, what can I expect from that. Basically, what the text message membership is, is the text message membership is a completely free thing for you. It's completely free. Either I will never, ever, 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 ever charge for the text message membership, okay? It defeats the whole purpose. But basically, what it is is it is a free way for you to get better at the game all you have to do is text me my phone number is in the top left hand corner of your screen right now so all you got to do is shoot me a text message in the text message just let me know you want to be a part of the text membership that's all i need to know and the last thing is my uh again all we're going to do is every single week we will text you a a full scheme so um it might be a full offense it might be a full defense right that's what we do in the text message membership. So every week you get something. So for example, um, this week we're breaking down, uh, I think we're going to be breaking down some gun bunch or some bunch tight end stuff or something like that. Last week uh, we broke down trips tight end. week before that we broke down 335 wide. Okay, So that's kind of how it works. So if you want to sign up for it, completely free. If not, I completely understand. That number is my personal cell phone number as well. So if you have any Madden questions, you can also ask those questions uh, via text as well. It's my personal number. You'll never get you know spammed or texted by a computer um that i don't believe in that stuff so anyways all that to say here's the defense so long overdue let's jump in here so 335 wide and what we're going to do is we're going to put our ball in your defense to play ball we're going to put our option defense on conservative you could also put this on play receiver um the what it boils down to is how the ai will play it so if you put it on play receiver you need to make sure that you're always clicking on in case of a in, in the case that you might want to get an interception okay but i'm going to put it on play ball because it's going to be primarily a zone scheme if it's man i highly recommend play receiver and then flats what we're going to do is we're going to put our flats on about 20 we might turn these up to 25 um and this scheme is all about tinkering with your zone drops throughout the game so if they're running certain things so if they're running crossing routes you're going to put these on 25 if they're running corner uh, corner routes, out routes, um, post routes, you're going to put these on 20. If they're running uh, out routes or slant routes, motion slant routes, you're going to put these on 15, right? If they're running, you know, and, and see what I'm saying? You're going to, if you're in the red zone, you're going to put these on 10. So you're going to constantly tinker with these, okay? Um, for curl flats, I'm going to put these on 10. And the reason why is because they will do a decent job against curl routes. They will do a decent job against slant routes. Not very many people are running 10-yard curl flats right now, but I've been tinkering around with it a little bit. They don't play everything, but they are kind of in a good position all the time. Hook curls. These are going to be put on five. This is going to be to stop hitch routes. It's going to be to stop um, curl route or not curl routes, but, but hitch routes and drag routes and playmakers. That's what that is for. So that's the setup as far as the zone drops. Now the defense we're going to be working out of is the nickel 335 wide. In my opinion, this is the best defense in the entire game. And I actually have a full ebook out on it that you could pick up in the description if you want to get it. It's just 15 bucks and it gets you literally the best defense in the game. The Madden Club Championship uh, winner um, po or uh, runner up Pavin and the champion uh, J-Wall both ran this defense. That's how powerful it really is. So, uh, anyways, that's a little bit about the defense. We're going to just sub in safeties everywhere here and try to get the best personnel possible. 
Now, the defense we're going to use is Cover 4 Show 2. That's the defense we're going to base out of. And I've talked about it a little bit, but I haven't talked about it in terms of against a specific offense. So with Trips tied in, there's a couple of things that you know they're going to want to do. And there's two specific coverages I want to give you today. Both of them are really effective, and both of them are to be used in different situations. Okay, If someone is running a lot of um, flood concepts to the left side of the field, you're going to use the second setup. If they're running a lot of um, crossers and middle of the field concepts, you're going to use the first setup. I find the first one is the most bang for your buck. The second one is what you go to as a change up when you're trying to you know, catch them off guard. So all that to say, here's the setup. What we're going to do is we're going to press coverage. Obviously, you want to get this guy over the center. Okay. Now, what I like to do is I like to shift my line to the right and crash my line out almost every single time. And the reason why is because it really does help against the run. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create essentially a cover two on the right side. So we're going to take the outside corner, we're going to put him into a flat zone, cloud flat, and we're going to take the um, safety here and we're going to put him into a deep half zone, just like that right there. From that point, we're pretty much set up. The last step is to take this um, linebacker, Devin White, and we're going to put him into a vertical hook. You see this right here? This is the setup. That's it. And then we're just going to obviously blitz our user. Now, the one other thing I would I would recommend is dropping a, uh, a three-rec hook on the field. And you could do that with any of your linemen just by bluff blitzing them. So ideally, what we would probably want to do is we would probably want to put Shaq Barrett on the other side. But this does get him a one-on-one. -on -one. It just isn't the greatest against the run. So um, you could do something like this right here. Vita Vea is on a three-rec. And then you're just pass committing. Okay, that's it. That's the setup. Now I want to share with you. I want to run one of the more popular setups out of this out of this def or this this offense here. Um, basically, something like this. And I just want you to watch. Now curl flat might be a little bit of an anomaly, but I just want you to watch. You know, kind of what happens here. So I'm gonna snap the ball, and your user is over the middle of the field. You're taking away anything like this, and as you can see here, we get pretty much everything taken care of. Now another route combination that you're probably gonna see from trips tied in is you're probably going to see something like this PA counter go, right? One of the most popular routes combinations in the entire game. And they're going to set it up something like this right here, okay? Now, again, we're going to set our zones up exactly the same. So we're going to shift our line to the running back side, crash our defensive line out. We're going to put our nose tackle on a bluff blitz. So he goes into a three rec, blitz our user, and then we're going to turn a, a vert hook over there. And then something just like this right here. As you can see, this is pretty much the way the defense looks. And all you're going to do, they're going to motion over Mike Evans. And essentially, this is kind of your own cover six. But basically, you're lurking in the middle of the field. Now, take a look at that crossing route. And that's where I would say, again, if, you're, if they're running a lot of crossing routes, you might want to drop those flats back to 25. But as you can see, um, it did a decent job on that crossing route. So the next setup that I wanted to give you before we take off today is I wanted to share with you another uh, another setup that I think is really, really effective. And it's specifically for uh, situations where they're flooding the left side a lot. Like if they're, if they're flooding the left side a lot, this is your setup. Essentially all you're going to do is you are going to take both of your outside linebackers here uh, and you're going to put them on flats. So you're going to see here, I'm still going to create that cover two, right, just like that. But your, your other outside linebacker is going on a hard flat, just like that right there. Okay? Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to drop your defensive end on the left into a vertical hook. From there, that's pretty much all you need to do. And what you'll notice is this will take a lot of the flood concepts away. If I try to throw this, you see here I have players in that vicinity. I have players in the area that can make a play on that ball. Now, curl flats is hard to stop in general, but this is more for like... Um, this is and, 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 and with curl flats, all you have to do is you might just you might just put your curl flat zones on default, right? Or hit reset or something. But but anyways, I want to show you this real quick. This is like a, just a standard um, a standard flood concept to the to the to that side. And we'll set our zone drops up here. And again, we'll just do this right here. And if you take a look here, pretty much that corner route is not going to work because the outside quarter is going to jump 
down onto it plus you have the flat underneath it so that's a little bit about how to stop trips tight in out of this cover four um, obviously you're going to still have to adjust trips tight ends a very very good offense but this is kind of a starting point that you can use now if you want to go a little bit deeper and you want to get the best defense in the game kind of get the whole scheme of what i just showed you um, really really in depth and really simplified as well so that you can really understand it um, that link is in the description now if you want to get a free sample to the ebook all you have to do is send me a text message and let me know you'd like to get one my number is in the top left hand corner it's also in the description but shoot me a text let me know um, if you want to get that video or not other than that guys we will see you in tonight's live stream we're going to be streaming live at 10 p.m eastern using some of the principles that we've talked about in this video so thank you so much for your time i hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you guys on stream this evening